cookies. We're going to decorate uh, butter cookies, sugar cookies, um, with the uh, sugar paste. The um, these cookies are already baked. I baked them beforehand, the day before. Uh, they're ready to start decorating, and we're going to start with the most simple way to decorate them. That is sugar paste or rolled fondant. Okay. In order to start, I already have my cookies, so. If I have my cookie, I have my cookie cutter, okay? This is the cookie cutter that I use for this shape. So the first thing that I like to do in order to decorate them, so I will know what to do at the time that I'm cutting the, um, the sugar paste, is to make templates, okay? I have this done here. I don't know if you can see there very well, okay? I have this done here with the cookies that I'm going to decorate. So I have the fish that I just used the same cookie cutter and the the sea star, the crown. I have the um, flower. And now I'm just going to do here the duck. Okay, just for you guys to see how it is done. Very simple. So you just place your cookie cutter in a um, wide piece of paper and then just trace with a pencil okay this is a guide for you this is not going to be on the cookie this is just a guide for you then you're going to trace the whole um the whole cutter and you have the form of your cookie with that i'm going to first in the piece of paper uh, draw all the details that I want in the cookie so at the time that I'm cutting I know uh, what I'm doing how to do it and how many colors I'm going to need so I'll see you been working on the templates for the cookies I have them all done you saw how I did the fish okay I'm going to make this bit this, this cute fish for the star I just mark here some uh, bubbles that I'm gonna make out of uh, little balls of sugar paste okay the size of the bubbles but these are going to be in one shade these are going to be in another shade and these are my eyes if you need you can just make some notes like um uh white this is white this is uh, the uh, color shade okay so you will know where uh what are you going to do this will be my duck uh this line here i i did this line but it's not gonna work because then uh, it would like a different kind of duck. So I'm gonna do I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to do like a black eye ball or I'm going to do a little eye with some expression maybe okay and uh, I don't know maybe I do a girl duck with some um, eyelashes I don't know um, the crown the crown is mainly a guide because uh, this all will be made and uh, with balls and shapes uh, different colors so I'm um, for this one maybe if the crown is yellow I will um, do two tones of uh, pink and gold so uh, you will have different um, elements in the crown and for the flower this looks a little bit messy but uh, there's a point where you understand what you're doing um, this is the shape of the cookie this outside one is the cookie right so I'm going to cut the sugar paste with the smaller flower okay so I will see like 
the lining of the cookie outside and then with the smaller one here is where I'm going to decorate my flower this here these lines here are going to be marked in the into the sugar paste with uh, tools and I um, darken this part because in here in the center I'll probably use some dust uh, just to make it darker than the the rest now the next part is to decide what colors are you going to use and make a little list so uh, for the duck I'm going to use yellow and I'm going to use orange for uh, the mouth of the the peak of the of the dog uh, the star is probably going to be in a shade of uh, purple I love purple for my fish it will be maybe yellow and orange okay the um, crown will be in tones of uh, yellow as well so I'm not repeating the colors that I already have so it will be yellow and I will have two um, shades of pink okay two shades of pink and a little bit of gold the flower let's see if we have yellow and orange and purple so I will probably do the flower in tons of blue okay maybe maybe two shades of blue and of course yellow for the center yellow or orange but I already have those colors so here I have my scheme of the colors that I'm going to use next we're going to roll the fondant and start decorating we are going to need a yellow sugar paste for the for the duck for some parts of the fish and for the crown that is right here okay so i thought it would be a good idea to teach you how to color the sugar paste so you're going to need uh, food coloring it's preferable if it's gel food uh, coloring because the liquid one can damage the structure of the paste can make it very very runny and it's it, it it's not good then for for rolling the paste or to uh, cut the paste so I'm going to use a gel okay coloring gel food coloring gel and I'm just going to take a little bit with a bit of a with a toothpick I already put some words in here and just start little by little you're going to add just a bit and you start working or kneading your dough it's not a dough it's a sugar paste okay start making the color okay here you can see that the color starts to uh, come out okay This is very light, so I'm going to uh, put a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Let me just get this way so you can see what I'm doing. I like to work with this part of my hand so my fingers won't get too tired. And okay yellow is starting to form but it's not an even color yet so i'm going to keep working the dough the sugar paste in order to make it even um then i'll check the shade if it's the shade that i want or not let me just check now okay this is a cute shade maybe for the duck okay but um, I think I'm going to make it a little darker for the crown. So I'm just going to use a darker shade of yellow. So I'm going to get a little bit more of this. You have also different shades of food coloring. This is a lemon yellow, but you also have like golden yellow. Uh, depends on what you want. So you can also buy a specific shade for the paste for the sugar paste okay let me work it a little bit more okay okay just wait a minute 
and okay I think I'm gonna stick with this shade and in a while I'm gonna show you how to roll the fondant and my sugar paste is done in order to roll the fondant I'm just going to use let me just get here some a little bit of icing sugar there's some sugar paste that work better with icing sugar others that uh, roll out better with um, cornstarch I like icing sugar some people prefer cornstarch I'm going to use a small rolling pin because it's a small piece of of sugar paste and just start rolling it out to the first to the thickness that you want I don't like the cookies to have a thick layer of sugar paste because then you taste more sugar paste than the cookie this sugar paste is not made by me it's I, I buy it already made so the flavors can uh, be some of them are nicer than others but in general they taste just like sugar so I like the sugar paste to be very thin so I will taste the cookie instead of the sugar paste and also I think it looks nicer so this is quite thin I think we can work with this one let me just stretch it a little bit more okay so I'm going to start by cutting the the duck okay I'm going to cut where's my duck cutter I'm going to cut the whole duck remember that in the design I'm going to have this part is going to be orange and he this had uh, the duck has this wing on top of it that I'm going to cut later but uh, for now I'm just going to cut the whole duck okay so just place it on top push this okay I go like this a little bit so I will have a sharp edge of the sugar paste and there you go Here's my cut, my, my duck already cut. I'm going just to place it on top, just to know that this part is done. I already did the same with the star, with the base of the flower. Remember that the flower, this will be the cooking, this will be a base, this will be another flower. So this will be the base, the base of the flower. I already did the base of the fish and now I'm going to cut and I think I'm going I can do it here I'm gonna cut the crown yes I have enough for the crown as well you need a mat underneath for better cutting and for not damaging your table okay so where is my cookie it's right here very good, excellent. There you go. And in one minute, we will see how to glue this into the cookie. Here you can see better. How to glue the sugar paste into the cookie. Okay, see you in a bit. start by gluing uh, the sugar paste forms into the cookie okay for that in the PDF you have a list of all the materials that you will need today I'm going to be using condensed milk but you can use any kind of sweet preferably runny sweet because buttercream can be very thicky and um, it will show on the sugar paste remember this sugar paste is really thin so you can use either condensed milk or some jam a little bit of jam if, it, if the jam has little pieces of fruit you can put add a little bit of water into the jam just to make it more runny you can use uh, sugar syrup um, but here I'm going to use this it's already made and it's it's quite clear it's more or less the same the same shade of the cookie so it won't show from my sugar paste so I'm just going to spread since this is the same size of the cookie I'm gonna spread the whole cookie it's like I'm painting the cookie 
with the condensed milk. Okay, and then I just glue this, sorry. And I'm just gonna glue this side. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm going to repeat this with all the cookies. The only cookie that I'm going to do differently is the duck, and I'm gonna explain why. I want to cut a little piece here from the beak of the uh, duck. I'm going to use the um, uh, this um, sorry flower cutter because it has this round part that I think it will fit very well here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see here. I'm just trying to okay just cut this part. Perfect. So I rolled a little bit of orange where I'm going to cut just part of the head of the of the duck. Okay, and then I'm gonna place it here where it should be. Okay, and I'm going to mark what I'm supposed to cut here and now I'm going to cut this this way I will have the beak of the the of the duck and the duck in the same level because if I do the opposite imagine that I have this I didn't cut this okay didn't cut this this is here and I put it on top of it okay it will be out of the same level and you can still see a little bit of the yellow underneath so in this way you can just make a very balanced design okay so now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna glue this here it's like a puzzle right so I'm gonna glue this the same way that I, I did with the other cookie just brush the whole cookie with uh, condensed milk and now I place this part first this part first and then I'm going to place this part here just work it with my fingers a little bit and there you go you have the duck we have to walk the duck done. I'm gonna do the same with the other cookies and I'll see you now in we'll finish to create the fish. Okay, so I already have the base of the fish glued to the cookie and now I'm gonna cut it again. Okay, I'm gonna cut another fish. Okay. And yellow. Because from here I'm going to make the body of the fish. So now with a knife, okay, I'm going to cut. If you see the design, the yellow part is going to be just this this part of the body. And so I'm going to cut this. Okay. I'm going to mark. First, I'm going to mark with the tool where I'm going to cut. Okay. This side, then looking at my design, I cut this side, and in here it's gonna be like up to here. Okay, okay, so I already mark where I'm going to cut, also using uh, the knife. I'm going to cut, you know what? I'm going to change the knife. For the pizza cutter because it will roll better and it will give me a better cut since I'm not going to use any of these parts I don't care if they're damaged if you're later going to use other parts in that case you cannot use this okay so okay the body of the fish it is done let me just check that it looks good yes perfect now we're going to glue this. You can either use the same um, um, the same sorry the same condensed milk that you were using or the sweet or the 
um, jam or sugar syrup or you can use CMC which is a, a special glue that you can buy at the stores that specialize in cake design and cake decoration it's a powder or tylos as well CMC tylos is the same thing I will show you um, how it how it is it, it's a powder let me show you in just a second it is a powder that you mix with water okay I have some already done in here and you have to keep it in the fridge I have some that is already done in here so I'm just going to use another brush Okay, so I'm going to use another brush and I'm going to glue with the CMC. I'm going to glue in the back of the sugar paste. Okay, here you go. And now I'm just gonna glue it on top of the fish. Okay, good. Now work it a little bit. Okay, work the edges so it will look nice. Awesome. Now I'm going to use a tool that will mark like um, like little dots on the fish. Okay, where I'm going to uh, let me show you the design. I'm going to mark this part here. Okay, so it will be more or less from here, and it will get all the way to here to this base. I'm just going to go around and there you go okay good excellent uh, now details are going to be made with this tool so the mouth I'm just going to push this back a little bit just to give it a better expression all these little details are the one are the ones that count I'm going to also mark here these lines okay and also in here there you go and also on the fish tail for the fish tail I'm going to do a little cut here okay just to round the tail a little bit more and a little cut here Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this out and round this more. If you're doing many, many, many cookies, okay, be careful with the amount of details that you're going to do because it will take a lot of your time. People will think that because we're doing just a cookie, uh, it should be, you know, and it's easier or it's cheaper. No, smaller things will tend to give you more work than the big stuff. So um, manage your time wisely and manage how much of the design do you really want to make uh, or how much detail do you really want to uh, put into each cookie depending on the amount of cookies that you're making, uh, depending on the amount of time that you have. Okay, I'm taking my time here because of course this is just one cookie for you guys. Okay. But of course, the little details, I don't know if you can see there, the little details are the ones that count. Now, for the eye, uh, the eye here of the fish is going to be just a uh, closed eye. So I'm going to just mark what I want the eye. And then I'm going to use a little bit of black roll fondant to mark the eye. So I'm just going to make a little mark where I know the eye is going to be. Also we have, going back and forth to the design, we have these bubbles here, these little bubbles. So I'm just going to mark also with the round tool, where do I want the bubbles? So it's gonna be one large one, one medium, one small. And here I'm going to do it the opposite side, one large one, one medium, one small, okay? Uh, I'll be back with 
the details okay, for the this. bubbles uh, for the fish are going to be white but before that I want to make um, some shadows with the edible dust so I'm going to do it before using the white fondant because otherwise I'm going to um, color the white fondant and it won't look very good I have this brush that you can either you can find for um, I think it's nail art, but they're really good to dust some parts of uh, the cookies or the cake or whatever you're using dust for, because it is like a fan. So I'm just going to take the excess of dust here, okay? And I'm going to make this, I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth to the design. This line that I mark here, they mark it very lightly. It's going to be actually a um, dust. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. See how it gives some depth into the design of the cookie. Okay, I think I'm going to do just one. You could do more. You could do like two different lines. Okay, I'm just going to do one. And just brush it back a little bit and now since I have yellow uh, orange here too which is I'm going to take a little bit more of dust and I'm going to dust the bases of the fish okay so I will give some movement into the See that I'm, I'm doing it from the base out, okay? What it's going to do is going to mark the lines that you just did and it's going to give some color and movement into your cookie. The design of your cookie. It I, Like I've been saying, little details will make the whole difference, okay? Now I'm going to do the white part. Before that, let me clean this out. So actually, it would have been better to put like a paper tower, uh, towel underneath. I didn't do it. You guys do it. So you, when you work other colors, you won't damage the colors. So I'm going to clean it and be right back. Okay, now it's clean. I'm going to start with... The, this is not the brush. Just a second. Okay, the CMC. I'm going to put some CMC here in the places where the ball, the little bubbles are going to be. And I'm just going to roll. Remember, they have uh, different sizes, so I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use, uh, it's not going to work, it doesn't want to stick today. Uh, the big one here. I think I'm going to make it bigger, wait, because then the small one is going to be too small. So I'm going to make a big one, the medium one, and the small one. Here you go. Now in the other side, a big one. The small, the medium one. If you're not sure about the amount of uh, sugar paste to take for each ball, just cut pieces, one big, one small, one smaller, and then make the little balls. Uh, this one is too big. Okay, good. Now, using a little, little, little bit of black fondant, I'm going to roll it out just a tiny bit. I'm going to roll it out where the eye is going to, or the eye, I'm going to roll out the eye. So I'm going to make a small, I'm going to roll this very, very thin. Okay, let me just work it because it is so small that it's a little bit dry. Okay, there you go. A very small piece of, I can use this one. Very small piece of 
black fondant. I'm just going to cut it uh, like about here. Okay, I'm going to use the brush. You see there very well. I'm going to use the brush, just put a little bit of CMC here. And with the help, this, I don't know if you can see there, but this part is thicker than this part, so I'm going to roll it just to have the same uh, size in both sides of the eye. This is big. I'm going to cut it in half, a little bit more than half. And I'm going to roll it again. There you go. And now I'm going to just place it here and give it the shape that I want. Just take this little bit of black here, okay? With the help of this mouth. There you go. And your cookie, it's done, made with sugar paste. I'm going to start, I'm going to do the same kind of work on the uh, crown and on the star. I'm just going to play the video. And uh, then we're going to work the duck and the flower, okay? See you in a while.
going to do something a little different. In order to get a different look um, than this, this looks is when this look happens when you roll down the, the sugar paste evenly and you cut it. But if you want a rounder look, what you do is this. You're going to roll out the size of the sugar paste that you want your flour to be. But you're going to give it a, a thick uh, finish, okay? It's going to be thicker than uh, this one. Let me just check if this is enough. It's enough. So this, this will go... So using a piece of plastic uh, wrapping paper, I'm going to put it on top of the sugar paste. And now I'm going to cut the flour. This will have a very nice look because with the paper I'm going to create a rounder look to my flower. This is a trick that looks very cute uh, when you want to cut cut out pieces to put in your cakes or your cookies because it has a different look like that. It doesn't look like a piece of paper just cut out. It gives a little bit of volume to the piece. So now with this I'm going to mark the center of the flower. It's going to be around here. Okay, and using this tool, I'm just going to mark the petals, okay, first out, then in, so it will have a nice finished look, okay, now out, then in, now out, in, okay, that's good. And I'm going to keep doing this with all the petals of the flower. to get a rounder look just, just a little bit here okay and if you want to mark this a little bit more maybe with the knife okay just giving little cuts here and there just to mark the petals a little bit more do the opposite way okay now I'm going to mark the center a little bit more very good I'm going to change the tool to make the center of the petals and then we're going okay, to, do the to center decorate of the, flower. the flower um I have it here this marks of the flower okay uh, you can use you can use the same one that you were using before. I'm gonna do one so you see the difference. Okay. Because this has a, a rounder uh, finish here, so it will mark your flower like this. While this is just straight line. Okay. But I like that this has this round tip here, so it will give you this round finish at the end. And it will mark your flower too much, so it will make a difference from this, okay? Now, if you're going to use uh, dust, you use it now before putting into the cookie or before putting any other colors on top so you won't uh, color the other uh, colors. To give a little bit use. more of depth into the flower. I'm going to use um, blue edible dust. Okay, now I'm using the paper towel as I, use, as I told you before. 
to take the excess of it here. I'm doing this before putting the flour on the cookie. Okay, do it from the inside out because that's where the flowers tend to be darker in the center. So as I was saying, um, you paint this from the inside out because the, the flowers tend to be darker at the base next to the center. Okay, so this is looking cute already. Okay, now I prepared a yellow, little yellow ball that I'm going to uh, place in the center. Okay, and just push down a little bit. Okay, and now this I'm going to place in our flower and we have a very pretty flower cookie okay Ooh, there you go I want to do something here because it looks quite uh, plain so with the, the tip of this tool I'm just going to mark some dots around here We'll just give it another look at our cookie. You can also use um, dust to give some depth to your cookie, to the base of the cookie. And there you go. We have a very cute blue. Now for the final uh, cookie, that is the duck, I did this wing here for the duck. I'm not going to trace it and look and do it the same. I'm going to show you a faster way because if you're doing a lot of cookies, you want faster ways to cut and decorate. So I'm just going to roll a little bit of yellow fondant. Okay. I'm going to use the flower cutter. And then I'm just let me just mark first where I'm going to do. So this this three will be oh no, this no, this three look better. This three will be the base of of the wing. Okay, so I'm going to just mark here like a little S. Okay, where I'm going to cut the wing. I'm just going to this up a little bit. And there we go. So with one flower cutter, you can make two wings for two different cookies. See how good is this? I love when I have little tricks that make me not lose my time so i'm just going to um i lost one of my brushes i'm going to use this one just clean it a little bit okay so i'm going to just put some edible glue here place the wing of the duck and mark where the eye is going to be I think it's going to be around here okay i'm also going to mark here like the little mouth the mouth this is the beak right of the duck okay there you go just use this one i like this tool a lot as you can see there you go and now with some white sugar paste i'm going to roll the eye just put some roll the eye and with the black one i'm just going to do this here 
and it's going to be looking down. Maybe down. Wait. One on right and one black little ball. Just give you here some final touches. Uh, maybe what I'll do here is going to pull this up a little bit just to give a final touch to the wing. Okay, of the duck. Here also. Okay. And you have a little duckling. So see how easy and simple it was to make these cookies. They look very cute um, and uh, they're all made with sugar paste. Um, making the, the, the cookies with sugar paste is as much fun as making them with royal icing. Uh, I think this will give you more freedom as where the royal icing is going to need more preparation. But once everything is prepared, it's going to be easy to do it as well. Uh, in here, you don't have to worry about humidity or temperature as you do with the icing. You also do not have to worry about the consistency of the icing because the sugar paste is something that you just roll. You paint, you use uh, dust, brush it, and you can give it nice finishes everywhere. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, for the next cookie class, I'm going to show you how to decorate with uh, sugar paste but in this case we're going to hand paint the cookies hope you enjoy it and i see you later